Sachin Bhandari returns for Business and Leadership Stories. Really a fabulous series uh, that is inching itself closer to 100 episodes and that'll be the day, my God. He basically comes on and tells a little story that has something to do with his life or my life or just a generic third person story and then we get the communication or marketing or leadership tip of the day that emanates from that particular story. What's up, what's up? Greetings of the festive season, my friend. Thank you, thank you, Rishi. Wish you the same. Uh, so, you know, I was sorry, just Sorry, I'm not in Bombay <laughs> right now, uh, but uh, hope to be in the studio soon. Look forward to seeing you in person very, very soon. But listen, I was telling Farhan Akhtar that, uh, and, and subsequently I had the good fortune also to meet Arbaz Khan a couple mm. of days ago. And I told, uh, you know, both children of the great men, which is uh, uh, Salim Khan and Javed Akhtar's sons, how I really loved this documentary series called Angry Young Men on Amazon Prime Video, right. which is pretty right. much Zoya Akhtar and Reema Karti directing a story of the two former scriptwriters of our generation, Salim Saab and Javed Saab. Turns yeah. out that you two are pretty enamored by that series <laughs> and you want to quote from that series. Let's go. That's true. That, that's, a, that's true, Rishi. And I think everybody <clears throat> who's at least from our generation uh, identifies with Salim uh, Javed. I mean, who can forget those lines, right? So in if you, I mean, of course, you watch the docuseries. Uh, there is an instance uh, that is narrated uh, also, the video is played where A.R. Rahman, when he went to the Oscars uh, to uh, receive the Oscar, uh, he said that, uh, you know, my mother is in the audience or mere paas ma hai. And that's how evocative the line is. And if you look at all of their lines, so mere paas ma hai, kitre aadmi the, na aaj bhi feke huye paise nahi uthata, uh, ye uh, 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 sarafat se betho ye police station hai, tumhare baap ka ghar nahi. Uh, so, in many ways, the docuseries says that while Angry Young Man was played out by Amitabh Bachchan to perfection on the screen, the Angry Young Man is actually a combination of both Salim Saab and Javed Saab. Uh, and the interesting thing is that these lines which were written in the 70s <clears throat> and the 80s continue to, you know, uh, enamor us and continue to, you know, be used in different situations by people all the time. Yeah, and, you know, we're talking about <clears throat> lines like and things like that. I, I really feel that, you know, there are lessons in copywriting, lessons in storytelling, lessons in communications that we could have picked up from that three-part docuseries. So One I want to start on that. I mean, I, I want to start on, could you put your finger on three or four vital lessons that we can learn? Uh, 100% Rishi. So uh, uh, the three lessons that I learned uh, from the docuseries is one, uh, short punchlines aid memory, right? A lot of times I think when we want to communicate our brand proposition or even our proposition as a person, people tend to get really verbose and use a lot of lines. And those are things that don't aid memory. Uh, people get bored, people get uh, disinterested. So the ability to crystallize something that you want to say into a three to five word line is something that can help professional entrepreneurs, executives, everyone. And in fact, in the docuseries, Shatrugan Sinha says that chote chote dialogues likke unhone industry badaldi is what Shatrugan Sinha had to say about Salim Saab, Javed Saab. Uh, that's number one. Number two, uh, Javed Saab in the, uh, in, 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 in one of the interviews for the docuseries says that, you know, no matter how great a story is, if you do not narrate it in the right way, and they were really good at that, right? Like they would have this uh, session, this methods where they would invite people and they would narrate the story. And then that's how directors and actors would get interested in the script uh, in the first place. Uh, they had the ability to intonate right, to put the right, have the right kind of pauses, uh, emote while speaking, etc. So no matter how good your story, your pitch for that matter is, if you're going to speak or narrate that in a monotone, it is not going to land well. So a great story needs to be combined with great narration as well. That's the second tip that I got. And the third one, Rishi, is that I think when it comes to business or work, we've sort of gotten used to um, just having a transactional relationship with it all, right? Like we speak as if it's just something that we do to fill our fill our hours and you know get a paycheck at the end of the month and stuff like that. But if we are able to tap into the emotion of how we feel about our work and hence, of course, how our audience feels about our work, our customers feel, 
our employees feel and use that in our communication i think a lot more of us would be a lot more successful so these are three tips that i picked from the docu series short punchline <laughs> phrases uh great narration and of course tapping into the audience emotions and thereby tapping into your own emotion the things that you That's can true. learn from the story of salim khan javed akhtar together salim javed well this episode comes to you every morning tuesdays on 94.3 on the fm band mumbai daily bengaluru chennai uh we run in the morning starting uh, 8 8 am and uh, it really should refresh your entire week once you listen to us and if you're looking for the video version it comes on a day later on wednesday so check out the mint youtube channel and you'll find us on video form sachin mandari from the story co thank you for your time my friend and i look forward to seeing you next week same here sir same 94.3 radio 1